Hey there everyone, welcome back to um, this quick little video. This is gonna be, um, I want you guys to watch this video regardless of where you currently are in the uh, tutorial series. And the reason for that is I'm giving you a quick update to something that happened in the Laravel code base. This is a change they recently made to the code that you definitely need to be aware of because it's causing lots of errors. I'm seeing, um, I was first brought, this was first brought to my attention about a week ago. And um, unfortunately, I didn't actually know what was causing the problem. And um, luckily, someone else pointed out through some other forums, we were, we were able to figure out what the problem is. And it's a pretty big change to Laravel. And um, I've got a whole video dedicated to um, how to f you get around doing something that now they've automatically fixed. Okay, so a lot of people are getting stuck on that video. So I want to go through, show you guys... Um, what that problem is because whether you're encountering it now or not, you're going to at some point and you need to understand what might have changed from when I previously taught it to you, okay? So let's come on over. I'm going to jump to GitHub, show you guys a few things in GitHub, and then we're going to look at the change that was made in Laravel, okay? So as you guys know, Laravel is a framework. It's updated almost, it's like two to three times a week. They release updates for it. Um, so these are minor version upgrades. And um, there's obviously little tiny changes. Most of the time they're like security fixes, um, just things that make it run a little bit, a little bit better, um, things like that. Usually you don't have to worry about every tiny little update. However, I on this channel, if you subscribe, I will let you know about the big ones. And this is a big one that's causing problems for lots of people, okay? And this is how, this has to do with middleware and routes, okay? And since we're working so much with middleware and routes, a lot of you guys are running into this problem, and I understand why, because I taught you one way, which worked in the previous version, and now, if you do it the way I taught you, it'll actually break it because of this change that happened um, that happened this week, okay? At the beginning of this week, I think is when it was. Um, okay, so first of all, I wanna show you guys real quick well, let's show you the problem real fast. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys our current project here if I go into our blog application. And um, I'm gonna run a command that says uh, php artisan. We haven't done this yet, but we'll do php artisan dash dash version. What this will do is show you the current version of that project that you're in, okay? So I'm in the blog application here. I run this version command. It says that this blog is currently running on 5.2.23, okay? That's what I'm currently teaching you guys on and that's what um, I was working with, okay? Now we're almost done with the series, so I'm not going to go ahead and update it. I'm just gonna keep doing it this way and I'm just doing this video so you guys know the change, okay? Now with, um, so we're on 5.2.23. Now what I wanna do is, if you guys remember, I think two or three days ago, I made a quick video um, about how to get help from me. If you wanna submit stuff to GitHub or Stack Overflow, how to get help if you get stuck on this project. Remember that video? I generated a brand new Laravel project at that time. Um, so that was two days ago. I was I filmed that video and I've generated a new Laravel project. And that project was called Get Help and I still have it on my computer here. So I'm gonna CD into that project and now we're gonna run the, this is just from two days ago, I, ran, I built this command. So it should have the newer version of Laravel on it because we barely generated the project two or three days ago. So now what I'm gonna do is run PHP Artisan version and you see that we get uh, version 5.2.31, okay? So you may wanna start getting used to this command, PHP Artisan dash dash version. It tells you the current version that you're on. Um, 5.2.31 is the most up-to-date version of Laravel that exists as of right now when I'm filming this video. And, um, but our project is actually 5.2.2.3. You would think it's a minor change, but something happened on the update of 5.2.30. So if you are 5.2.30 or later, you're going to want to um, be aware of this issue. Now, let me just real quick, I'm gonna open up in, in Sublime both of these projects here. And um, here we go. Okay, so here we've got our old version. This is on um, I'm gonna open up the routes file real quick. App, HTTP, routes, and um, and then over here we're gonna do, this is the newest program. This is the one I just made a couple days ago. We're opening up the routes file there. Obviously there's a lot less because I didn't mess with the routes. But the, the change that happened here is that you no longer need to run um, the web middleware in the newer versions of Laravel after 5.2.30. Okay, so if you can see here that this is just an empty routes file, right? 
Whereas the project we're currently working on, this is the blog application over here, you can see that we group everything in this route, this group middleware web. And if you remember, there was a video, is part 13 of the series, where I went in, I spent like half the video explaining why it's super important that you wrap all of your routes inside of the web middleware. The web middleware is what's um, responsible for the CSRF protection, it's responsible for sessions, and a bunch of other stuff, but those are the two that we're mainly using right now. Um, so everything really should be running through the web middleware. And I, I remember emphasizing that in the video saying it's kind of, and I even said in the video, I thought it was kind of weird that it's not just in there by default. Um, it sh I kind of felt like all those things are so important that it should be something that you opt out of instead of opting into. But we have to opt in, we had to opt into it previously. And then we had to add this route group middleware web. Okay. And we put all of our routes inside of there. Now, real quick, I just want to show you guys, I'm in, uh, let's see, this is the blog application. If I run PHP artisan route list, which you guys should know is, um, lists all of our routes way over here. You can see that everything is lit has the web, um, the web middleware. And that's because everything is listed in that, um, is inside of that folder. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to just kind of move us over to our get help project. And we're going to run the same command again. Um, and obviously there's not as many to run because there's only uh, the one, we only have the one, but you can see it's automatically got the web middleware. Okay. This file right here automatically has web middleware. We can see right here that it's running inside of web middleware. And um, that's because everything in the routes file is web middleware. Okay. So you no longer need to follow the advice I gave you before where I said, make sure everything is in that uh, group, the route group called middle, uh, called web. So we always focused on this before you don't need to do that anymore. If you're after 5.2.30, um, then you don't need to worry about it anymore. All of your routes automatically have the web middleware. And the way that you can double check that is to run this PHP artisan routes. Okay. PHP artisan route list. And then you can look over here in this col column for middleware and it will tell you if all your routes have mid uh, the web middleware or not. And this one obviously has the web middleware even though we don't have the route group, okay? That's the change that was made. I just want you guys to be aware of it um, that from going on from now, from now on, if you update your application or if you create a new Laravel application, don't do the web middleware. You don't need it anymore. What you're using it, but you don't need to um, explicitly define it in the routes file. All the routes automatically have the middleware. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, so can you still use route group? Yeah, you can. You can wrap the route group and you can put you can do all sorts of stuff with them. You just don't need to do the middleware. Uh, or sorry, the web middleware. If you wanted to do a group for all of your authenticated routes or for all your guest routes or something like that, or if you generate your own middleware and you want to group stuff with that middleware, that's that still works great. But everything will automatically have the web middleware. So you don't need to define web middleware any, anymore. If you put a group for the authentication middleware, all of those routes inside that group will now be authentication and web. Okay. You don't need to define web anymore. Okay. Just forget that the authenticate, the web middleware existed. Don't forget that it existed. You need to know that it exists, but don't just forget about having to define it. Okay. It's on there automatically. So that's the big change to Laravel. I want you guys to know about that. These are the kinds of changes that can really throw you guys for a loop. A lot of people, I was watching the analytics on the video, a ton of you guys, like a lot of people were stuck on part 13 because um, of that. They had recently started the new project. So they had the newer version of Laravel and they had worked on up and then they're following my advice in the video. But unfortunately my advice um, was for this slightly older version and there's that big change in there. So um, the videos are still very up to date. So don't, I want, don't want to alarm you guys about that, but sometimes these changes happen. Before I finish the video, I want to just point out a few things that will help you keep you guys up to date on Laravel changes because they are bound to happen. Um, as we, you know, as we continue to work on, work on this, our series might end and there will be more changes and stuff like that. So I want to let you guys know how you can stay up to date on the changes. I've got three big suggestions. The first suggestion is to subscribe to this channel. You probably already have if you're watching this video, but if you stumbled across it, subscribe to this channel because this, these Laravel code updates, this video series I'm doing right now, every time there's a major change, I'm not going to do all the minor changes, but anytime there's a major change that can throw you off course, I'll make a quick video about it. 
Um, it'll be a little shorter than this one probably, but four or five minute video explaining what the changes are so you're on top of it and you know what they are um, and stuff like that. The second way that you can do it is you can um, subscribe on Reddit. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Reddit. Um, Reddit is just a massive community and they have a subreddit called, um, I play Black Ops 3 as you can see. Um, anyway, I also play Ark. <laughs> If you guys like Ark's one of the funnest games in the world. Okay, anyway, um, there's a subreddit called Laravel. And if you go to that Laravel um, subreddit, you can see a lot of people talking about Laravel and um, stuff like that. Looks like there's about 7,000 subscribers right now. So jump on there and you guys, you'll see people will post tutorials on there. People will post questions. Here's some questions down here. Um, ask you know, and then people will will help you out and get get you some help and stuff like that. So Laravel is a good way, or the Reddit, the Laravel subreddit is a good way to stay up to date because when there are changes, people will um, uh, will notify you on here a lot of times. Okay, so that's another good way to um, work on it. I will also be on here. So if you guys you know post anything about there, I'll, I'm on uh, Laravel subreddit also quite a bit, almost every single day. So I see the stuff that pops up there. And if you guys have questions, you know, I might be the one chiming in as well. The third way that you can stay up to date is GitHub. And GitHub's probably the most important. All of you guys should probably subscribe to GitHub. Um, so you you create, I, I talked about this in the last video where we did the how to submit stuff to GitHub and how to get help from me. I talk about GitHub. All of you guys should have a GitHub account. It's free. And if you're going to be developing anything, um, you actually you plan on being a developer. You plan on um, you know writing code. You have to you have to know the uh, GitHub. You got to have a GitHub account. You're gonna want to you know GitHub is like a social network for um, uh, for web developers and for open source developers. It's just it's where everything happens. Okay, so make an account. Don't just you can obviously download the stuff without an account, but go ahead and make an account. And um, when you make an account. Head on over to this, github.com slash Laravel slash Laravel, um, and um, I'll link this down in the description. You're going to want to go here. You're going to want to, um, this will say, this button will say watch, and you're going to want to click it, and it, that subscribes you to updates, okay? So mine says unwatch because I'm already watching it, but this will send you an email update when they post a new change on Laravel, okay? So that's another cool way to do it. You'll see that there's a new version of Laravel and what the command is. If you want to um, kind of give a thumbs up to the developer that you like Laravel, this star right here, that's all the star does, is it kind of bookmarks it in your feed so you can find it again easy um, in your GitHub feed. And then it also just um, helps them rank better inside the GitHub universe or whatever. And it just tells them that you appreciate uh, this project. So be sure to leave a star if you like Laravel. That just tells Taylor Otwell, who's the developer of Laravel, tells him he's doing a good job. And then um, and then watch it and you'll get the subscription uh, updates as well. Um, okay. And then the last thing I'll mention inside of here, how do you find the releases? If you come up on the top here, you come up to 64 releases. And this, it might be a different number by the time you get to it. But you click that releases button and you can see the timeline of releases that we have here, okay? So um, uh, 5.2.31 is the most common. You click this and you can see the comment that he left of what the update does. And then if you click this thing right here, it actually shows you um, the change, okay? So it says that this page got deleted, that line of code got deleted and that's it. And then people can comment on them. So you'll see comments from people that are watching it. Okay, so that's what this does. Um, GitHub's really good to be subscribed to. Um, if you, I think it was 27, was this the, this is the updated, the default routes file. So you can see some of the code here. It says they deleted this line and sub, you know and added the application route. So they renamed the file. Um, they got rid of this and added all, and got rid of all of this. You know, it tells you all this stuff. The green they added, the red they removed. If you click split, it actually splits it up and shows you the old file over here and all the red lines got deleted, and then the, the new file over here with all the green lines um, added in, okay? So anyway, that's what GitHub is. So if you wanna stay up to date on what's happening in Laravel, in the Laravel world, first subscribe to my channel. I'll have up videos just like this one that explain it. Second, follow on reddit.com slash r slash Laravel. I'll have that linked in the description. And then the third one is, um, the GitHub, okay. Uh, watch the watch 
click the watch button on, so you're, it says watching, click that on um, GitHub to subscribe to changes, okay? All three of those, and you guys will be up to date with what's happening. Just know right from now on that if you um, update your application or you start creating a new application after this series is over, you're probably gonna be using the newest version of Laravel. And in that case, you need to um, just know that your web middleware is added by default. You don't need to manually add it. You just, um, it's it's in there by default. Remember to check your route routes list file and that will tell you what middleware you have. Okay, so if you never, if you aren't 100% sure, just run PHP Artisan route list and look in the middleware column and see if it's in the web middleware. If it is, you're good. Don't worry about having that big, massive group that everything is in. You don't need it. Okay, that's everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date with what's happening in Laravel and um, trying to dispel some of the confusion that's been going around my channel the last week because a lot of people are running into this problem, a lot of you guys. So I apologize for that. Unfortunately, these frameworks change rapidly and it's just our job as developers to stay on top of them, okay? Subscribe to the videos and I'll let I'll help you guys stay up on top of them. I will, um, any of the, the big changes, I'll be making videos just like this one about. And until next time, I will see you guys soon.